Jesus was his name. As a boy, he always knew a sailor he would be, so he studied the law of the sea. Captain of his crew, a brave, ambitious man, determined to explore, he discovered a new land. The sun and sky, and his heart would be his guide, a man of valor and pride. The king and queen, their blessings he obtained to carry the flag of Spain. Tempest and rain, a strong, courageous man, determined to explore, he discovered a new land. The sails raised high, he searched the great unknown, his quest for adventure, dispelling any fear. A sure, courageous man, Columbus it was he, who sailed to new horizons across the great blue. you to hurry. No. Keep it up. All our cargo has to be unloaded in the next 30 minutes. Good work, Columbus. Thank you, sir. I'll leave the ship in your capable hands for a while. I'm going ashore to speak to the shipping agent. Make sure the men take the cargo off in good time. I'll see to it, sir. Or else you'll be high and dry. <laughs> high and dry? What do you suppose Captain Saldana is talking about? I have no idea. Maybe it's some kind of joke. Oh, no, it's not. Huh? We must unload quickly and anchor offshore. Offshore? But why, sir? Because we're in Bristol, where the tidal difference is the greatest in Europe. If we're still moored when low tide comes in, we'll be stranded. You mean there won't be enough water to keep a ship afloat at the dock? No, there won't. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on the remarkable tides of Bristol. Now back to work! Oh. Thank you, bosun. That got them moving. Hmm. How do you know about the tides here, sir? I learned all about the tides at the Navigation Academy. Oh. Elvesman, take us into the deepest part of the harbor. Aye, sir. I've never seen a tide like this in my life. Impressive, isn't it? What I want to know is where does the water go? Easy. It flows out into the ocean. No, it's not so simple. Let me show you what I'm talking about. As I see it, low tide in one place means high tide in another. When the water's low in Genoa, for instance, you might expect that it's high in North Africa. Mm -hmm. Now look here. We're in Bristol, an English port on the Atlantic, and the tide is low. The way I see it, that means the tide must be high on the western shore of the ocean. But what land lies there, I wonder? And how far away is it? This that we never find out, sir. Why do you say that, bosun? Because nothing but danger lies beyond the ocean. Danger? How do you know? I've heard the Norse legends. Ah, the legends of the Norsemen. I can't say I know much about them. I only know of Eric the Red, who set forth from Iceland. It was 500 years ago. He found a place he called Greenland. Ah, but sir, there are other legends that come from a time before Eric the Red. Legends of ships that sailed far beyond Greenland, all the way to the western limit of the ocean. Those ships were sailed by Vikings. Oh, Vikings, you say? 
but when the Vikings reached this faraway land, they found it inhabited by fierce folk who destroyed their settlements and chased them away. Is all this in a book? Oh, no, sir. You won't find these legends in any book. They're the lore of the Northern Seas, told and retold by sailors as they huddle on the cold decks at night. How I wish I knew more about them. Hey! Keep them coming, boys! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing smells sweeter than a good day's catch. <laughs> All hands, make ready to set sail. We're bound for the Irish port of Galway, men. And from there, we'll head north to Iceland. someone who can tell me about the legends of the Viking explorers. Nykvist is the man you want to see. He knows about everything. But he's funny in the head. He may refuse to talk to a foreigner. Hello? Are you Nykvist? My name is Christopher Columbus. I was told you were coming, and I was also told what you want, to hear the old Viking legends. I won't tell you about them. But I know who will. Hmm? His name is Olaf, but don't look for him. He'll find you. Thank you. Olaf, we'll sail before he shows up. Columbus, huh? where are you? Captain, I'm up here, sir. Oh, there you are. I just came to tell you there's been a delay cargo we're supposed to carry home with us won't be ready for another fortnight. So I'm giving you two weeks off. I tell you not to get into trouble, Columbus, but I know you never do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Captain. land lies at the ocean's western rim. I'll probably never find out. <gasps> Who are you? What do you want? I've heard you're interested in the old Viking legends. My name is Olaf. You are Olaf? Mm. I walked a long way to come here. I'm thirsty. Well, please, help yourself. Here, drink up. Mm. Oh, that's better. I think I'll take another cup. Warms my bones. Makes me feel like talking. Good, then tell me. Oh, no. Not so fast. <laughs> I'm not ready to talk quite yet. What will I gain from telling you the legends of my Viking forebears? Forebears? Are you saying you're a Viking? Of course I am. I'm the last in the line of Viking chieftains. My ancestors were noble warriors and bold explorers. In fact, it's in honor of them that I have named my own vessel the Victory. Your own vessel? Then you're a sailor too. Mm. Not exactly. I'm a fisherman. Oh, I see. <laughs> but what does that matter? As long as I know the old Viking legends. Mm. But before I begin to talk about those legends, I'll need a little help. Help? That's right. Something to refresh the memory of a poor fisherman who doesn't always have enough to eat. Oh. Mm hmm. Now then, tell me about the land that lies west of Greenland. West of Greenland, you say? That's an ancient legend, very ancient. I'll need to refresh my memory some more. <laughs> oh, yes. Now that legend is starting to come back to me. It began with a raid on the Scottish lands. In those early days, the Vikings were raiders. 
They plundered settlements all around the northern seas. The raid on the Scottish lands was a success, but when the three ships turned for home, a storm blew up, a howling gale that battered them and drove them west for ten days and ten nights. And when at last the storm blew over and the sun rose on the eleventh day, the sea lay like a sheet of glass under a sunny sky, and of the three ships, only one remained. But little did the weary Vikings know that a new danger lurked beneath them. The Vikings defended themselves as best they could. In the end, the monster gave up and swam away, leaving the exhausted men to wonder just what it was that had attacked them and whether it would return. And did it return? Mm -mm. They sailed west, and after 10 more days and nights, they made landfall. On the western rim of the ocean? That's right. They even managed to establish a settlement there. But after a number of years, the warlike peoples of that land drove them back. Did anyone ever try to go back? Never. The dangers of such a voyage were too great, even for the bravest Viking. That's quite a story. Is it the truth? I've taken your money and emptied your flask, and you have no reason to believe me. But it is the truth. Wait, don't go. I have to go. I've taken too much from you. There is one more thing you should know. That land beyond the ocean. Vikings called it Vinland. That's a lot of money. Where did he find it all? He didn't find it. You stole it, right, Olaf, from a foolish sailor? I didn't steal that money. It was given to me. Well, you're a lucky fellow. Your generous sailor just walked in. Huh? Hello, stranger. Are you looking for someone? Yes, Olaf. Huh? Mr. Columbus, welcome. Hello, Olaf. Come, sit down. Won't you allow me to buy you a drink? Oh, he'll allow you. You've taken all his money. <laughs> Be quiet. If he wants his money, I'll return it. Sure you will. And my wife's the Queen of Denmark. <laughs> I'll return the money. I swear it. No, that money belongs to you. I paid it to you because you're a poor fisherman and you truthfully told me what you know. I can truthfully tell you what Olaf knows. Nothing! <laughs> Quiet, all of you! I deserve a little respect. I've been thinking and I recall I once saw proof that the land called Vinland really exists. What kind of proof? It was a strange headdress made of feathers. And you saw it yourself? Or is it another old Viking legend? No, I saw it. And where? Where did you see this headdress? Was it near here, somewhere I could go myself? I don't remember. Huh? Mm -hmm. oh. Now tell me, where did you see it? Uh, I saw it floating on the open ocean. Show me that money purse again, please. No, I want to hear more. I was fishing in heavy weather. Suddenly I saw the headdress. And did you take it aboard? No, I couldn't reach it. And within a moment, the wind and waves had carried it away. Sven, do you believe that? No, Harold. <laughs> Better watch out, Olaf. Your imagination's getting out of hand. A feathered headdress on the open ocean. Not even a gullible sailor is likely to swallow that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. I believe you, Olaf. Thank you. Can you find that spot again on the ocean? <laughs> He's crazy. I'm not crazy, I assure you. But, sir, you're not likely to see anything out there. Perhaps not, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to try. He's right. And I know for sure I won't find anything in this tavern. If I do take you, will you pay me a fair wage for my time and trouble? Mm-hmm. This should cover your wages handsomely, with enough left over to hire two crewmen. <laughs> Wait a minute. This isn't money. It's gold. Gold! Oh, 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 oh,
I am rich! And all for making up a lie about a feathered headdress! It was the truth, I swear! Mr. Columbus, everything I've told you is true. I know my tale of seeing that headdress may be difficult to believe, but I give you my solemn word as a Viking, that's what I saw. And tomorrow, at noon, I'll take you to the spot where I saw it. Fine. It's well past noon and there's no sign of Olaf. Maybe I shouldn't have trusted him. Ahoy! Huh? Sorry we're late. It took us a while to bail her out. What? Does your boat leak, Olaf? Just a little. Nothing serious. Oh. Well, here she is. The good ship Victory. Oh. Yes, sir. She's quite a vessel, isn't she, Mr. Columbus? Yes, she is. <laughs> and I command her. Olaf the Viking Chieftain, at your service. You have nothing to fear with me around. <laughs> Huh? Oh, well then, let's get underway. <laughs> I hired Harold and Sven here to be our crew. <laughs> That's fine. I'm sure you're both worthy sailors, men. I don't know how worthy they are, but they'll have to do. And just in case we're away from land for a while, I've brought plenty to drink. <laughs> you want some? Huh? Uh, no, thank you. I'm not all that thirsty. So why don't you share my portion with Harold and Sven? Come on, Olaf, do what the man says. Give me a drink. After Sven, it's my turn. Keep rowing. You'll drink when I say so, not before. Why are you drinking if we can't? Because he's paying us, Sven. Get back to work. Here. Huh? Don't drink at all now. That's your share for the trip. You're a very generous oh. captain, Olaf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Mr. Columbus, I'm not generous. I just know they'll work harder if they're not thirsty. <laughs> same waters that Vikings sailed long ago. That's right, and they're just as treacherous now as they were back then. It's hard to believe these waters could be dangerous. They seem so calm. Well, they may look calm, but the waters of the Northern Ocean can turn murderous in a flash. Right? Right. And we're out here searching for a feathered headdress. It's madness. Don't worry. I know we'll make it home safely. Hmm? What is that? Huh? Oh, that's a glacier. <laughs> I guess it's pretty impressive if you haven't seen one before. Yes. that strange glow in the sky. It's the Northern Lights. Sleep now. You came for a headdress, not to gaze at the lights in the sky. There's a storm coming, Mr. Columbus. From the east? That's right. It'll blow us toward the west. Is there a chance we can outrun it, Olaf? Not in this little boat. We're going to have to ride it out. No! Hey, that hurts, Olaf! What's wrong? A storm's coming, that's what's wrong. Now trim that sail, it's luffing. Huh? The wind! It just stopped dead. It's the calm before the storm. Oh, and here comes the storm. Oh. The sail has come down. 
We have to raise it again. I'll do it. Are you mad? This wind will shred the sail. Oh, that's a chance we'll have to take. We need the sail. Or else Olaf won't be able to steer. He's right. We have to keep that sail up. Otherwise, we're finished. Sven, Harold, help me. Grab the braces. Oh. Now hang on. We're going to ride out the storm. She's answering the tiller again! Yes! That's it! We're steady! Good work, Mr. Columbus! <laughs> I'm glad we made it through that storm, but I'm not sure I like our new situation any better. Adrift in the thickest fog I've ever seen. And we don't have the faintest idea where we are. <laughs> I know where we are, in the middle of the great northern ocean, where awful sea monsters live. Uh, don't say that. You're scaring me. Me too. Oh, I want to go home. Shh. Uh, I hear something out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's creaking wood. must be some kind of vessel. I think you're right. <laughs> I don't like this one little bit. <laughs> what is that? 